everyone, Kits the Witch here. I am going to be doing another book review, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Complete Grimoire by Lydia Pradas um, of Wiccan Tips on Instagram. And um, it is published by Fairwinds Press. See that there? And um, before we get to the good parts, let us go with the cons. Um, first thing is, it's called The Complete Grimoire, but that is a misnomer. It's not super in-depth, so don't expect an encyclopedia of knowledge. Um, it clocks in at about 175 pages, so obviously you cannot get the whole um, gist of witchcraft in simply 175 pages. That's impossible. Um, <laughs> And the other thing is, as of this recording, and probably as of the post when this recording posts, it'll only have been um, released for about a week and some change. So um, it's available online with indie bookstores and like Amazon, Barnes and Noble. But if you shop um, physical stores or anything like that, it might not be in stock yet because it is, again, super new. Um, so anyway, it's also, uh, this is, I find important, especially since this is essentially a beginner's book. It's not subtle. You can see it's very witchy on the front, very witchy on the back. And again, it's called the complete grimoire. So if you are in the closet, I would either, you know, cover up this book in a book cover, hide it, <laughs> just know that it's not a subtle book and it's not something you can just sort of slip in your bookcase unnoticed. All right, so now that we've gotten the um, cons out of the way, let us go with the um, pros. And there's a lot of pros, I think, in my opinion. Um, I think despite the fact that it's not in-depth, it gives you a really good starting point. Um, it covers a lot of the basics, like um, the tools that people that witches use, um, meditation, energy points, and I think it is really helpful because if you are a new witch, it can help you hone in on what you want to pay attention to in your craft. Because, like I said, it goes through herbs, um, crystals, divination. It go, um, and it actually has some basic correspondences for um, a lot of the subjects and also substitutions, which I think is really great. Um, and I think one of the other things that I really like is that it does cover um, smudging and appropriation and why you should call it smoke cleansing, um, which I think is a very important um, topic in witchcraft today. I think that the more um, times that like people with followings like Lydia Bradas um, and other uh, uh, notable witches on the internets, uh, the more they talk about this sort of thing, I think the better the dialogue is and the more informed people are about what is cool in your practice and what's not. Um, it's not to say that if you go in with like respect and understanding and that your practice is not valid, but you should also acknowledge like the, colo pre the colonization background, the reasons why certain traditions are the way they are. Um, that's another talk entirely and I'll probably save that for a video for another day. But I digress. Um, I think that this is a, I think if you are an advanced beginner where you know your correspondences, um, know the basics, um, intermediate or even a well-practiced witch, you might want to pass on this because this is definitely a primer for new witches. Absolutely. Like if you decided to become a witch or you, know, if you find the craft calling to you um, like last week, or like yesterday, this would be a great book to start with. Um, 
And that's saying a lot because I know one of the things is trying to sort through good books for newbies um, in the craft. Um, like myself, I've only been practicing for maybe half a year and some change. But this, if I had this book when I first started several months ago, I think I would not have had as many books as I do right now. Um, but yeah, I think as a beginner's guide, I would absolutely recommend this hands down. Um, oh, another thing that I really like is even though I believe the author is Wiccan, I mean, it's called Wiccan Tips um, on Instagram, but um, she goes into it very briefly in terms of like ethics and like the Wiccan read, read, read. Um, <laughs> She goes over that briefly, but I think that this is a good non-Wiccan generalized book. So if you're not interested in Wicca, but you're interested in witchcraft, this would be a great book. Um, and I know I said if you are more advanced, like you could, pa you could pass on this. I think that there's actually a lot that you can gain from it still, especially like you have as, a, as you're constantly learning, you do have to constantly go back to the basics. That's just, you know, how you do. So I think having this in your library would be great just if you need to refresh on anything or if you just want to sort of peruse it or just have it on hand for someone who's new. Um, this would be a great choice. But um, anyway, I think it goes without saying that there is a resounding, yes, get this book if you're a beginner. Um, like I said, there's tons of other books out there um, on beginners, um, for beginner witches, but I feel like this is probably one of the most comprehensive I've read, and I have read a whole lot of beginner books, <laughs> let me tell you. I mean, I've read like Witchery, The Door to Witchcraft, um, Waking for a Top Solitary Practitioner, like just so many books um, and I think this one is the most comprehensive in terms of getting your f so before I finish this video um, I do want to add a few more things that after three times filming this I didn't want to refilm this video again <laughs> um, one of the things that I also found really great about this book is it's accessible in its language and presentation and I don't think it would overwhelm a new witch um, this is a book that's especially great for um, people who have English as a second language because it's not like you'll be flipping through an English dictionary trying to figure out like why are they using this word like um, it's pretty straightforward and like I said it's super accessible um, and that's all I wanted to add feet wet in the craft Anywho, this is my review of the Qu Complete Grimoire by Lydia Pradas, creator of Wiccan Tips on Instagram. And um, if there's any other books you'd like me to review or um, you have any uh, comments or complaints about this, feel free to leave a comment and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.